Hi, this is Christine. It is Friday, October 30, 2015. It's in the afternoon. I'm still alive. I had a dream last night. I went back to my home in northwest Montana where I used to live with my partner of seven years. He passed away of cancer in 2012. In my dream, I saw the land that we used to live on. It was a lot of acreage in the mountains, and his mother apparently in the dream was in need of money so she was selling off this acreage and construction equipment and workers were brought in and they were tearing the land up something terrible i walked around the land and saw the grass turned over you know and the dirt just laying there and heard the big machinery and bulldozers working and i saw the men with their construction hats on they're talking it was sad and i wondered what was going on to the right, I saw a long folding table out in the yard that you would have seen in a cafeteria, and on it was a blender with lots of leafy greens, like leafy green vegetables and fruits on the table surrounding the blender. I, st I walked over to it and started putting everything in the blender, the fruits and vegetables. Even if some of the leafy greens fell on the table and out of the blender, I was just picking everything up off of the table and shoving it back in the blender. The final product started looking like a green smoothie of sorts, and I thought to myself, am I really going to drink this? Because, you know, it wasn't the most appealing looking thing. But yes, apparently, in my spirit, I was going to drink it, and I had every intention inside of me of doing so. I then looked at the area to the right of the table where my partner and my house used to stand to see if it was still there. It was a small white house when we lived in it, but it was gone in my dream. The spot where it sat, the house was missing. Apparently I had come back in my dream to visit the house for old time's sake and to remember my partner because I missed him in my heart. But the house was gone from its original position and all that was there was construction workers tearing up the land. I thought to myself, either my partner's family, such as his mother or brother, etc., had demolished his house and wanted it gone, or it was moved elsewhere away from the construction site so that it wouldn't be damaged, you know, when the construction was going on. So I looked up in the distance to the right, and on top of a grassy hill, there stood our small white house. It had a new fresh paint of coat on it and it looked nice. It also had an outside concrete porch that had a roof over it that you could sit on you know, the, the porch and be covered if it ever rained. Um, but this was again in my dream because in real life our house did not have an outside um, concrete front porch. And who did I see sitting on that concrete front porch but my partner, rocking back and forth in a rocking chair, which in real life we did not own, and I have never seen him sitting in a rocking chair either in all the years we were together, so I'm not sure what that was about. But I do know that in my heart, I have loved rocking chairs for many years. I just, I don't have one myself, but I love rocking chairs, so that might be also why he was sitting in one. I saw him in the distance, sitting there rocking in his chair on the front porch, and recognized him from his clothes. He had blue jeans on, sort of dark blue jeans on, like a little bit faded, but um, like medium blue, blue jeans on, and a white men's Hanes t-shirt with his dark hair. He was six foot three and a sturdy guy, somewhat built. Um, when I knew him, he smiled at me from the rocking chair when he saw that I had noticed him from the distance. I left my green smoothie, and I think I might have even left the blender running that I was making the smoother, smoothie in, and I just left all the fruits and vegetables on the table as well and went running up the hill to the house where he was. He got up from his rocking chair and started walking down the hill toward me when he saw me running towards him. I ran into his arms and he swung me around as we smiled and hugged and then he put me down on the ground. I told him I had come back to the house to see it again for old time's sake and just to remember him again and that it scared me a bit to see the house gone when I saw that it was missing from the, where it normally was located. 
but now I see that it was just moved up to the top of the grassy hill away from the construction zone and it was okay because the house wasn't gone and in real life we just had flat grassy land behind the house there was no hill to put the house on in real life so that, again that's another difference in the dream versus real life the house also in my dream looked newer and not weather worn and again like I said it had a fresh coat of white paint on it I also noticed or saw in spirit, even though I couldn't see them from the outside of the house where I was standing in the yard, where he and I were standing in the yard, that there were people inside of the house and it was like a big party that was going on inside of it with people sharing and enjoying themselves, laughing and smiling. I didn't see any of them physically, I just saw them in spirit. I was standing outside the house but I could see them in spirit as if I was hovering over them inside the building um, so I didn't see any of them or meet them or know any of them but I knew he had other people both men and women in the house a part of me felt like it was fellow people from heaven that were in the house with him although he was outside in the rocking chair while everyone else was inside and now he and I were walking together outside I remember he looked nice in the dream with his white t-shirt shining really bright white um, and by nice I mean kind his the his white t-shirt was whiter than any bleach could have gotten it it was almost like it was lit from a, a light inside of it and it just like as if your shirt was um, clear and the light inside of you was shining out really bright you know, sort of like a lighthouse. It, it's just clear glass and then boom, all the light just shines out real bright. And he had a happy face on him with a nice disposition coming from out, coming from within, within him. He just seemed to have joy inside of him and he was at peace and at rest and content with himself. And we walked together nicely in the green grass open field of our property together. And we left the construction people to do their work behind us and, and just went off walking together by ourselves. He told me, quote unquote, I'm still alive, end of quote, and then smiled at me. I knew he was alive here because here I was walking and talking with him. But I also knew that he physically died because I knew he had and I had seen his death announcement in the newspaper. So how could he be dead from the newspaper announcement and yet still be alive since he was standing right here next to me walking with me through our yard? It didn't make sense to me, but then it was also a dream, so I guess it's not really supposed to make sense. I don't know. I know that he has come to visit me I know that he came to visit me last night in my dream. Sometimes I think it's really him, and other times I think it's Jesus in my partner's form or shape who comes to visit me in these dreams. Because my partner in real life was serious and weighed down by life sometimes, whereas this man in my dream who looks like my partner always shines with bright love and light coming out of him and he's always at peace and um, he's just he's light he you know there, there's no heaviness in him my partner used to like Pearl Jam and he would listen to their album in the car sometimes when we went grocery shopping the three of us because we had a dog a Jack Russell Terrier dog it was the three of us and the funny thing is our dog he used to like to sing to the music he would howl to it so I, those are good memories the other day one of the songs from that album that we used to listen to in the car on the way to the grocery store came on when I was driving on my way to the grocery store I oh I I'm still alive that's the name of the song from Pearl Jam that we used to listen to in the car sometimes I couldn't help but stop and smile and cry as I parked my car in the parking lot and just sat there and finished listening to the song and I told him in spirit 
through my tears that yes, I hear him. And I know that he's telling me he's still alive, he's still here. It was a surreal moment. Thank you for letting me share and hope everyone's having a great day. I'll talk to you in the next video, whenever that is. Okay, bye-bye.